you know, um, we've not, we're not here last week, yep. and the Olympics is, Dra this is, is the almost drama-filled Olympics ever. Nothing from, is straight. From Team Nigeria to Team World. <laughs> team World, I'm telling you. <laughs> so team much, Nigeria so much team going world. on. But before we jump into the Olympics, Dixon, let's just quickly um, do a, a quick review of the um, Hungarian Grand Prix we just watched now. And um, so much You know, there's drama. always this Monday argument. No, today is not fight. I'm not even in the mood to fight. I'm not even going to fight because no, I mean, this one. Um, let's fight more. <laughs> we should fight more. It's more. been a while, right? It's been a while. It's been a while. We're not going to fight this one. But just looking at it and. Um, Shocking podium finish. Um, Sebastian Ekon. Ekon. Stefan Ekon. Ekon. You're wondering, where did the dude come from? One, then from Reynolds. Two, um, you're asking yourself, what, what happened what, to Max? What's the, what's, the, what's the rivalry between this Mercedes and um, Red, Red Bull? Bull it's from the starting of the race. Bottas took out Bottas the, two, took out the, the two, two Red Bull cars. The two Red Bull cars. Is that on purpose? I don't want to say anything before. Before you start saying Nixon has started I'm never, the game. I'm never, anything you want to say, feel free. <laughs> I should be free. Before you say Nixon has started the game. Uh, you, you look at Vettel, like I was looking at Vettel, so this Vettel can run, can, can, can be this smart. I hope Dixon took note of um, certain things. Number one, who finished first? <laughs> Esteban Ocon, right? Mm, who was I second? I know where you are going. Who was second? Vettel. Who was third? I'm not saying. Okay. Dixon says, no, no, no. On this re just re remember that I know the day um, Vettel was disqualified. Not yet. Well, we're coming to that. We're mm -hmm. coming to that. Because that part forms the connection with the Olympics. Because I think there's something fishy is going on. But we'll come to that in a second. Okay. You've always hyped and ranted and said how Mercedes car is the best car. They say, da, 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 da. da, da. Um, uh, Ferrari's car is not good. Ferrari has said they should, everyone should give them a chill pill till 2022, that their car is not good. As if in 2022 they have future car that they will, mm, with all the things we've heard about COVID, it's possible that they have future car waiting for them in 2022. But anyways, um, you keep going on and on that the only two rivalries, that ex the only rivalry that exists is between Mercedes and, Mac and uh, Red Bull. So Red Bull's okay. car is, and who does, um, Esteban Ocon drive for? I think it's very north. Okay. Who does um, Sebastian Vettel drive for? Is it not Aston Martin? He drives for Aston Martin. Mm -hmm. Vettel, correct. <laughs> How come the Aston Martin car, the Mercedes could not catch him? Um, because you always make it feel as if me, Hamilton may, just has one button. If okay. any, anybody who has watched Fast and Furious <laughs> knows that they, they always have this to nitro <laughs> boost button they press. Once they press it, uh, you can't Leave catch them again. Okay, so, so you always answer your question mm. quickly. Who is, who is leading the driver's standing? Who is first? Um, that would be Lewis Hamilton. He drives for? Mercedes. OK. So who is, <laughs> which, which, which car is leading the constructors? Mercedes. Because Thank you. I've answered you. It doesn't change anything. It, it does. It doesn't change don't anything. Don't isolate one case of one Why would I isolate one, one case? case. When, do you know when last, because, do you know when because, last Hamilton finished? Because in the, in the podium. Boys leaded. Do you know when last boys Hamilton leading. finished? In, do you boys know when leading. last Hamilton led the constructor's table? Boys leading. May. Uh, boys leading now. The last time he led was in May. But Dixon will refuse to admit. We were boys leading race. now. Hamilton did something. Dixon was like, you see, you see, he's blocking. Only for less than a minute later, we watched the same thing, and Alonso blocked him throughout <laughs> until he found a way to escape. And it was instead of Dixon to admit that Alonso blocked him, Dixon was like, man, Alonso is bad. Not bad like a bad driver. <laughs> because if it was Hamilton, Dixon would have been like, he's bad, bad. But he meant bad, good. You know when he said, ah, man, this guy is bad. But they mean the person is good. That's exactly what Dixon said. So Dixon, it seems your beef with... Hamilton is just pure beef and nothing else. No, no, it's not. I'm the, it, it's about Formula One where it's getting boring. Where this um, is boring. At least they're giving you a little bit of spice. With this saying, oh, they're giving us a little bit of spice. With the, you complain that it was boring. That the script is too dry. It's just Hamilton. Okay, Hamilton, so Hamilton. they're down spicing it up. <laughs> I'll see how but Hamilton I, came to but lead I end of the day, without winning the first. Last week, last week mm -hmm. Hamilton was not leading the drivers. Um, uh, it was just a few points. It was behind. just a few points. Now he's eight points ahead of um, Max. So now they say, you know what, this week, let's just twist it a little bit. Let our meeting go. So this, <laughs> when the Why season was starting, when the season was starting, I told you they want to try to create a rivalry They're between They're not trying to create. It was already building. Dixon, you are a sports person. And you know. I want to ask you, how come suddenly it's just coincident that it's the Mercedes driver that is taking out two Red Bulls? It's when a, two of them are the both now. 
Once upon a Every, time, a year, a, a year ago, and previously, two, two, the, the previous, uh, the um, was it two two races ago? It was Hamilton versus um, that uh, took out another Red Bull. It's always Red Bull versus Mercedes. Coincidence again? Next race will be Red Bull Mercedes. Another coincidence? Coincidence? Dixon, Dixon getting Dixon too just much. His mind on his it's getting too theory. much. Just Dixon, it's getting too much. Even when Hamilton mistakenly he overshot the the track and went straight instead of turning left. Dixon said he was planned. The guy had brake failure. We all saw it. We saw the smokes coming out from his tires when he stepped on the brake. Max was supposed to win that race, no matter what. Just to create a balance. I'm done with Dixon, no. <laughs> I said today, I'm not even going to argue with you. It's okay, it's all right. But anyway, anyways, congratulations to Mercedes this best. They've got back to the top of the table. <laughs> You're never congratulating Esteban Ocon, who won the race. You know that is just a flash in the pan. Um, is there anybody's fault that Verstappen could not catch up? The truth is, I know you want to celebrate Mercedes. <laughs> Just celebrate Mercedes. Every Monday, you get away with this. You enjoy yourself. Every Monday. 2022, don't worry. Ferrari is coming back. Ferrari is coming back. coming back, and I'll be Something smiling. Will what will happen? Something they will rub them, <laughs> as usual. How many will move to Ferrari? I'll now be a Ferrari driver. I think, I want to watch I think he signed a three year deal. Yeah, he signed, he's extended his stay with Mercedes. He's so Mercedes, three uh, years. That kind of rules out any switch to Ferrari just yet. Just imagine. Uh, uh, I know that most of um, Ronaldo fans don't, they don't like Barcelona. Just imagine Ronaldo moving to Barcelona. What happens? That's the end. Any, for any light for, for Ronaldo for me is done and dusted. Uh, the one thing is for sure. I know you, you would. Will, will I welcome nope. Abinuti with Opuna as a Ferrari? No, you. I don't know about that. <laughs> but for us who were pro Hamilton, pro Mercedes, we would we'll feel. Mm. Slighted, we'll feel like why you go and race for Williams or Aston we'll Martin. Feel yes, we will. Mm. Okay, so I, I, I understand the, the fan aspect, but I know they, they are professionals, they need to make their money, they need to uh, better their careers. If you race for Federal, I don't know how um, Amity will be seen in years to come. Then, will you be put in that? Greatest of all time because he maybe never end of the never race for Ferrari. I don't know. One one thing I do know, however, is that Ferrari is like the Real Madrid of Formula One. Even though they don't look like it right now, but um, if you're talking about racing pedigree and all that, they are way up there. And if you if you're a driver and you didn't drive for Ferrari, who did you drive for really? That's the way it feels. That's but that's Dixon, the, the big right. question now is now they say. Um, Sebastian Vettel, who finished in second. Yeah. He's been suspended. He's been disqualified. He's disqualified. And it, it, I said I'm going to use this as a link to the Olympics because um, we're seeing certainly that, that's Sebastian Vettel we have there. And um, I'm sure he, even as he put his hands on his head, he's wondering, how did this happen? Because now all of a sudden, it sounds just as fishy as it sounded when um, um, Blesno Kagbari was disqualified. Because out of the blue, um, so, but, um, Vettel and Aston Martin have never fin had a podium finish in recent times. Then all of, it, all of a sudden, you now decided it was the day he, he was showing prospects that you now decided that that's the day you want to do what we call, um, um, there's a term it's, it's called, but it just describes an impromptu test where you will test the, the drivers, the fuel so, in the drivers, the car, one yeah. litre of it. It must be one litre. And they said, unfortunately, they had, the car just had 1.44 litres in it and they could only draw out 0.3 0 .3 litres. Yeah, 0 0.3 litres. So, um, for that reason, he's disqualified. It just looks like beef. You just look for how is that, which technical, did he commit any foul that we can deduct point in time from? No. Let me, can I use your words, coincidence? No, this one is not coincidence. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I, I, and, and coincidence like was not my word. <laughs> Scratch that. You can replay the tape. I never said coincidence. You said coincidence. I said coincidence. Okay, okay. So, um, let us say, it was that day that the F1 um, officials decided, you know, we need to put this into test. I don't I mean, know whether because of Vettel, is it because of Vettel or they just decided to, you know, let's do it today because I don't. In previous <laughs> races, <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> previous races, that when when I heard it was disqualified, I was really wondering. I'm more, I was, I saw that, I, I saw race, that this the, morning, and I'm like, the, the race ah, ended. The, the race, race ended, ended now. and everybody was like, it's, okay, if fine, you were on the podium, I mean, I was even angry that now he has finished. 
He has finished second. If he was driving for Ferrari now, that would have been Ferrari's second place. That would have been Ferrari's second place. But only for me to find out the technicalities and why he was, you know, suspended. And I was like, how come they've not been testing this test in previous races?